Today we are here at Tour de Force TDF with Aldas, of course, as always, and James, expert from TDF. We're giving Hayden five different pieces of F1 paraphernalia. If he gets it right, he gets a point. If he gets within 10% of what the price is, we've got them all written down here, he gets another point. Here is your first item. Before I touch it, oh, I can feel it there. Is how breakable is this? I mean, I wouldn't, my hand I wouldn't bite it if I were you. I wouldn't bite it, should I try? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Give it a lick. It. Okay, I have a good idea what this is. This oh. feels like it's quite an obvious start. And I'm going to say it's a wheel rim. Ding, ding, ding. Well done. Yeah, yeah, boy. Blindfold off. I felt this part first and it sort of, I thought, but then I was like, oh, where's the rest of it? And it's, <laughs> it's a lot wider than you think it would be. Well, it says 2000, 2111. So it's from the future. Oh, wow. This one actually. That is not from the future. It's a 2004 Honda rim. It's made of magnesium. So that's why it's super light. I mean, you said how it is basically. You put tires on it and they go on the car. Mm. Simple as that. So Hayden, mm -hmm. we've got a price down here. Okay. What do you reckon? Get within 10% you get a point. I feel like they're probably more expensive than you think they're going to be. Think of what a Ford Fiesta wheel is or something. <laughs> then just add 20 quid onto that. Yeah. Uh, like a grand and a half. I wish they were a grand and a half. <laughs> <laughs> 10 grand. Sure, oh, well. oh, oh. This one's coming home with me then. <laughs> it's magnesium, It's a little mate. bit small. Next round, can we have something smaller so I can nick in my head? Mate, that is literally worth more than your car. Item number two, Hayden. Get your fingers at the ready, mate. I'm, I'm scared. Try not to break them. Yeah, I got told to be delicate with it. So Go I'm for like, it. Oh, don't oh, knock it. Okay. Oh, he's broken it. There's some, what the? Okay, we've got a few wires. Yeah, I maybe. guess. How big is, okay. Oh, oh, it's in your oh, a bit sus. Oh, wait. <laughs> yeah, some of these hand movements are a bit suspect. Not gonna right, lie. To blur some of this out, mate. So you got a big chunk. This is my expert analysis right here. You got a big chunky bit followed by some thin bits either wow. side and some wiry bits. You're gonna put Sam Collins out of a job, mate. Yeah, yeah. yeah I feel like someone needs to hire me up. I'm gonna guess that this is maybe the steering, like not column, but this would like attach, mate. I don't know. To attach maybe to something steering. What's your final answer? Yeah, yeah what is yeah, the final answer? You have to answer. Is that the front of a car? A steering thingy. <laughs> it's a it's steering front. No, 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 no. We need it's a, wheel. a steering wheel. The wheel mate. attaches somewhere to this at some point, and then the wheels will attach down here. Hayden, I need the name of a part. I don't know what that name. I'm well, well think. Steering thingy, majiggy. I'd love to give you it, but I can't, mate. <laughs> Take your blindfold off, it's a steering rack. So I feel like I was in the right area. I cannot believe how close he actually but was. My technical analysis uh, of names. Oh, it. When, you, when you're blindfolded, you just feel like it's just, there's no, no movement there, but you can see that this one's a bit more of a lower angle. Yeah, they all move. You feel free to play with it. <laughs> oh, do they? Oh, they do. I was scared, oh, to, yeah. I was scared <laughs> to break it. I didn't want to. Like, just snaps it off. If, it, if there's a tiny little bit of uh, res restraint from the force, I'm like, I, d I don't want to break it. But yeah, it actually does move. So I guess that is the where the wheels were then attached to. Yeah, I'm pretty yes. impressed to be fair. That's a great shout. To be fair, I'm amazed you got that close with the guest. But yeah, steering rack, uh, all hydraulically assisted. So all the drivers tune them exactly how they want them and they all moan all the time about it. But yeah, each team has a different rack and a different setup. Like you said, the steering wheel's attached at one end and then it's got track rods that come off the side and attached so to the wheel. The wheel would attach here. The steering yeah. wheel would attach this part. You have a yeah, steering column that comes up and then obviously Merck had their DAS stuff that was involved in that a couple of years ago. If we all closed our eyes and imagine what I was saying, we'd all understand what I was talking about. You know, I was well, describing it with my hands. We've got to be strict here, so we can't be giving that. <laughs> As for the price, Mr. Gullis, what well, we, we went very low with the with the uh, with the wheel million. Um, let's say about forty grand. Uh, oh. Fifty. Oh. That's close though. Okay. It's close. It was a better shout than the last. Not one, bad. Yeah. Not bad. But nil point. Not I'm bad. Afraid. No points. I'm so annoyed. That I've got no points at all for that. And I was so to be fair. Close. You did. Yeah, you were on the cusp. Uh, for yeah, both. but steering thingy and the thing attaches Don't, here and goes to here. You're too competitive here. Don't give me that rubbish. <laughs> Next item, Hayden. What do you think? Again, I feel like this is going to get more and more delicate. So oh, I've got oh, a tip finger. Oh, oh, oh a tip finger. Geez, <laughs> okay, <laughs> a roundy bit followed yep. by two pointy bits but one pointy bit longer than the other. No, they're about the same. It's a real test of his hands. Yeah. Mm. Like some sort of wishbone, maybe. I mean, that's just like the obvious answer, but I have no idea. Otherwise. Is it obvious? Why is it obvious? No, it's not obvious. I'm saying that's my like obvious answer because there's two things that come off. Saying a wishbone. Yeah, but I feel like I'm like on a Christmas wrong. turkey. Yeah, 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 yeah. So one of us can break the other side later. Well, we you get the wish. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope that's not made out of magnesium as well. <laughs> uh, take your blindfold off, mate. Cool. Guess again. Yeah, what do you think it is now? 
Because to be honest, I, I, I'm so, I, I can see it. Yeah, I don't even know what it is. It's just, to, it's just a bit of branding. That's just the logo A. So <laughs> that's just what we do. Is that the Rolls Royce? Is that like criminal? minus points for how far that is off? I mean, <laughs> someone who's really strong can use this to pick up if they squeeze it hard enough. <laughs> no, this is a shift fork. All gearbox internals. So that holds uh, a piece called a dog ring and it changes between the gears and the gearbox. That one's a slightly older one now. They're a little bit prettier than that. Yeah, that, that was the problem. I'm used to the, the newer ones, yeah. You know, V6 onwards, is all, you're all over that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so Hayden, what do you think in terms of price? Like, what's it made out of? <laughs> Unobtainium is what they're made Unobtainium, out of. Unobtainium, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, let's go for seven and a half grand. Seven and a half Three grand. Three grand. Three grand. So this is cheap. Basically. Yeah. And it's small enough to sneak out. Right, Hayden, here is your fourth item. What do you think it is? Oh, oh, he's, he's enjoying this one. Oh, yeah, Ooh. that was a bit, <laughs> I'm a bit jealous. Jealous, clearly. It's smooth as well, which makes me think that it's a, like a brake disc because it's very, very smooth on either side. That's what I'm going to guess. I'm going to go brake disc. Yeah. He's got yeah. it. Boy. It's a brake oh, disc. Look how dirty my hands are. I should have yeah. been stroking it like so it. much. <laughs> Don't put your hands on the nice white table. <laughs> carbon. So they're all a full carbon carbon. Again, they're a heritage piece of ours, but they're uh, essentially the same makeup now. All carbon carbon run at ridiculous temperatures and they cost well, we'll find out in a minute. Actually. Yeah. So you yeah. carry on. You carry on. Nearly dropped myself in there, didn't I? And what what car is that from? So they're all our ex Minardi stock. So sort of late 90s, early 2000s. It's insane the detail on it, the way it's sort of weaved in and out between the carbon. Like you can really see it up close. The way it just looks like waves. All forged, like the like you get on your Lambos and stuff now with all the forged stuff. Same same principle. So Hayden, how much would you pay for a Minardi brake disc? Break well, how disc? much he would pay? <laughs> It's different to how I much it's worth. Like 25 grand. You'd be pleasantly surprised that you're wrong. Mate. It's five grand. Five? Ooh, that, that is, is actually cheap. a bargain. Yeah, that's per cheap. disc though. So for a set 20, that's not bad. I, I expected a lot more because I would have thought like a lot has gone into making one of this. When you say higher temperature, what are we talking like? About a thousand degrees, they run out on circuit and they take a year to produce, which is why they cost quite so much money. Wow. So toasty temperatures. They deal with the temperature and they don't warp like a steel would, but once they get above a certain temperature, they wear like crazy badly, which is why you see the big plumes of black dust on the TV. And last but by no means least, item number five, get your dirty hands on it, Aiden. <laughs> yeah. Go on. Um, am I allowed to touch this one? Am I not going to make it? Oh, oh, oh. Now this is oh. a really interesting this one. It's quite heavy. What the? What the hell is this? That is mad. That looks nothing like what I expected it to. Yeah, when we saw it on there, I mean, I had a, I had a thought, but definitely not like it. It's, it's very smooth, but then there's a little bit of bobbly bits coming off. <laughs> Parts where you would attach it here, for example, and then at the back as well. At the front, it is a difficult one, to be fair. Yeah, I'm I don't know, I'm trying to think of like... If you get this, you're cheating. <laughs> <laughs> I've got it written right here and I, can't, I don't know what it is. I feel like it's far too small to be like a fuel tank or something like that. Uh, let's just go fuel tank. I mean, I have no idea. So right, wrong. Well, before tank. we tell you, take your blindfold off because yeah. it's not the fuel tank. Thank you. But yeah, can still... you guess it without the blindfold? So a remote charge ADS advanced discharge system, I'd probably say. So what do you think it, I does mean, that, what does that, that mean? Does that help? <laughs> <laughs> this cylinder is not pressurized. Nozzles should be checked for damage or blockage. I mean, if that doesn't we answer, always, I don't know what does. We should all check our nozzles, to be fair. Um, How good. Yeah. I guess it would just be the, the battery. It is from the Sauber, mm -hmm. and it is a fire extinguisher. Wow. That is not what I thought it would look like, genuinely. Yeah. You're expecting big red bottle. A little okay. bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I know because I've heard a couple of times where I know in some of the junior categories, fire yeah, extinguishers gone off. Yeah. Right. It, is it similar to this kind of thing? Yeah, they're, they're, they're a little bit more the big red cylinder. Yeah, because I think I've seen them in, when they've gone yeah, off, yeah. you've seen them in the cockpit and you've seen them in other cars as well. I suppose these are older cars where it is just based like a fire extinguisher along the side. But yeah, this is crazy. And what makes a fire extinguisher? Because again, Mick Schumacher, I think in 2020, his one went off. Like what makes a fire extinguisher go off in a race car? Uh, either user error and pressing the wrong button, which racing drivers tend to do quite a bit or uh, vi vibration, or if you get a little stone in there that pierces it, you can have stuff like that, which is why they don't pressurize them. So that one has a nitrogen charge to set that one off separately. So where would that sit in the car? Where, where did that sit in the Sauber, for example? In the Sauber, it sits sort of behind your rib cage, hence why it's all shaped. So it fits to the chassis and then it fits around the seat for the driver. 
So the cur the curved part where your right hand is would sit around your kidneys. Okay, yeah. so it'll be like around there. Yeah. So would be would the teams be designing that? So it'd be with different on different cars, or is it all the same? Every car is completely different. So their nitrogen, the what's inside there is like this weird powdery mix. Obviously, it didn't do the greatest job with Grosjean's car because it was in a bit, but um, yeah, it's like a powder mix just to give you a bit more time to get out. There's obviously not a lot in there. And price. The main question, yeah, how much is this yeah, worth? F1 um, fire extinguisher, bespoke made. I don't know, like. Five grand? <laughs> Seven and a half. Seven and a half. Seven and a half. Seven and a half. I feel like Close. if we mixed up all my answers, I'd be right for all of them. But Well, well done, mate. I got not, not too bad. Two. And I got the steering rack. No, no, no. Yes. No, no. no the Comments. steering thingy. Back me. Comments, you let us know whether Hayden deserved that point or not, okay? Thank you very much for watching. Let us know in the comments down below if you guessed that was a fire extinguisher. I don't believe you if you say you did. Thank you, TDF. Thank you, James, for having us. Links to TDF are in the description down below. So be sure to check them out. Thanks again. We will see you in the next one. Bye.